Mackey here live in Dallas, Texas, as I broadcast on a global platform for the Valder BB Show. How are you? We're doing very well, thank you. We're good, thank you. Well, thank you. I'd like to talk with you, Doctor. Start with you, Dr. Sheena, and then I'll go to uh, Laurie. Tell me about migraine headaches. I thought this is something that had been conquered. Well, <laughs> unfortunately not. If only. <laughs> Yeah, and migraine is a distinct neurological condition. It is very different from other types of headaches um, in that it's very strong. It's usually one-sided, throbbing headache, can be associated with sensitivity to lights and sounds, and can be also associated with nausea and or vomiting. And it, it is very disabling condition, and when it becomes frequent, then the patient can develop so-called chronic migraine which is defined as a headache occurring on 15 or more days per month, uh, lasting more than four hours, and with at least eight of them being with migraine features, meaning that they can have moderate headaches which don't have migraine features, but total of 15 or more days per month. And, uh, and unfortunately, it goes under-recognized and under-treated in the society, and up to 80% of Americans don't get appropriate diagnosis and do actually have chronic migraine. That's from the studies, and up to three million Americans suffer from this condition. When you say, and I'll, go, I'll move to Laurie after this, when you say go undiagnosed, I, tell me what that means. Are they just diagnosed as you've got a headache or not migraine headaches? Well, the reason for the underdiagnosis is, is lack of awareness about this condition, and so the patients are not educated. They don't know about that, uh, the symptoms of the migraine. So they just call it regular headaches. Uh, so that's why we are here to bring the awareness about the migraine. And okay, so is, is it correct, Laurie? That's me, yes. Okay, Laurie, I'm gonna assume you're a sufferer from migraine headaches, correct? No, I'm actually not a sufferer, thankfully, but I am. Ooh. <laughs> Go ahead. But I am the deputy editor at Good Housekeeping Magazine, and one of, obviously our audience is mostly women, and women are three times more likely than men to suffer from migraine and chronic migraine. So that's why I'm here today, to help spread the word and let people know that there is something that they can do. They don't have to suffer in silence and that there are actually treatments available. Okay. The doctor said that it's undiagnosed. You're here to tell us about it. So what remedies do we have? Well, usually what I would recommend is to keep a headache diary for the patients. So start keeping the track of the number of days with the headaches, the features, and there are online tools available to, to download these diaries, and Lori will comment on that in a minute. And, uh, and then when they have a diary, I think if the patient has a frequent headaches, they would need to uh, seek medical attention. They would need to find a headache specialist or a neurologist and uh, get a consultation to get appropriate diagnosis. And when there is a proper diagnosis, then you can find an accurate treatment for it. Laura, your magazine, why are you guys on board for this? Because I know your audience is women. Well, tell me why you guys are on board. Well, Good Housekeeping has always been at the forefront of women's health issues and sharing treatments and sharing information so that people are more empowered and more informed to make better health care decisions. Health has been something that we've cared about for our whole 130-year history, and now here we are today with talking about Botox as a treatment for chronic migraine as the first and only FDA-approved treatment for prevention. So that's a huge deal, and prevention is so important in addition to things like getting better sleep, managing your stress, not skipping meals. Those are very important things so that you can actually get those healthy days back. It's, I mean, our readers tell us that they suffer from migraines and that that affects every aspect of their lives, from their relationships to their work. They don't want to go for promotions because they're nervous that no one is going to understand what they're going through. So the more we can talk about chronic migraine, the more we can let people know that there's a condition out there that they can get treatment, the more people can lead a more normal life. And that's why we're here as Good Housekeeping and wanting to really share with people that important information. Will you have some kind of advertisement or feature in your magazine about this? We did do a feature fairly recently on headaches and just helping people understand their headache. And you can always go to goodhousekeeping.com where there's more information on headache and other things like that. You can also check out BotoxChronicMigraine.com where there's tons of information, including the headache diary that you can download and then start recording your symptoms, your triggers, how many headache days you have. So it's really just about 
getting to know your body and getting to know what's going on with you so that if you do make an appointment with a doctor, you can actually come prepared to talk about chronic migraine. I thank you so very much, and I'll wrap up with the doctor. Doctor, if there's one recommendation that you'd want to give the listening audience for, as a medical uh, doctor, what would you say? Well, I just want to bring awareness about the uh, treatment options uh, available for patients for, uh, with chronic migraine. And I think uh, by seeing a headache specialist or neurologist and getting the proper diagnosis that I mentioned before, uh, there are treatment options out there for patients. And as you know, sometimes pain medication may not be effective in, in, in headache patients, and especially in chronic migraineurs. And therefore, we recommend preventative th uh, treatments. And one of them could be, as uh, Lori mentioned, is Botox, which was approved by FDA for the prevention of chronic migraine. It's a very brief oh. treatment. And it's Thank given you so very much for that information, you, and also my guest, Laurie, from the magazine. Thank you very much for being on it. And Good Housekeeping Magazine is available on your newsstand or online. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank Great you to be here. Thank you for having us.